funds this year have had an interesting year. They've seen uh, a lot of discount widening and premium narrowing. So at the start of the year, we had only a handful of funds that were relatively undervalued uh, based on the Z statistic measure that we like to use at Morningstar. Um, as of just last week, there were about 80 funds that met that undervalued metric uh, as opposed to about 20 at the start of the year. So we've seen a lot of people maybe getting out of the closed end funds, a little bit worried about interest rates rising, and it's made some, some more attractive valuations. What is one sector that you find attractive at this time? International equity funds are actually doing pretty well this year. They uh, perform pretty bad at the end of last year, along with a lot of international uh, mutual funds. So we've seen the sector sort of pick up a little bit at the start of this year. Some of the funds still look reasonably attractive, and the performance has been pretty good. Going forward, okay. as we look at the second half of the year coming up, give us a forecast, or your sense, your perspective, on what's likely to happen in the second half of the year. We'll probably see a lot of the same kind of volatility and discounts and premiums in the second half of the year, uh, despite the fact that there's maybe more certainty around the, the probable date of the first interest rate hike. Uh, the retail investor tends to get very nervous, and the long duration of a lot of these closed-end funds will cause many investors to uh, probably flee before they think interest rates will rise. Uh, we've seen this in the muni market. We've seen a lot of the municipal closed-end funds uh, become relatively very attractive because of the long durations and because of some of the issues that some of the municipalities have been having and the heavy retail audience that invests in those closed-end funds just doesn't really handle that kind of uncertainty all that well. So summing up a little bit, all in all, is it a good time for closed-end fund investors or for those on the sidelines thinking about becoming closed-end fund investors? I think it is a good time for some closed-end fund investors. You have to understand what you're getting into, the volatility uh, that comes along with investing in a closed-end fund, particularly as we're entering a period of potentially rising interest rates. However, uh, the interest payouts that come from the closed-end funds is really attractive for certain investors particularly uh, retirees, and I think there are a lot of valuable options out there, and you can find some at pretty good deals these days. For more information and data on closed-end funds, visit our sponsor, cefconnect.com, the authority on closed-end funds. This is Closed-End Fund News.